Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evo Space. Uh, I've just been on a little bit of a hunt for clay. I have actually harvested like all the clay in the area and haven't been finding any. And yes, there's a fair bit of lag. Oh, I'm having power problems again. Damn it. Uh, I decided to rework the whole situation here. I decided to run off the coal coke instead, instead of the creosote. Uh, but now I'm having issues. Why are we not generating power? I was having issues with backlog on the creosote, and I'm having issues with, uh, the, as you can see, the reason why the coke dust is backed up, which is why I don't have any power running right now, is, where was it? It was, oh, it's in the back, yeah. It was in the back here. Uh, it was uh, these ones here. They're they're crossing. What I've done is I actually doubled this up. I've gone up to eight, and I was trying to produce enough coal coke or uh, creosote to run the steel f fluid furnace to run generate the steam. Uh, the problem is, is uh, eight of them themselves wasn't enough to actually power four of these furnaces to keep those boilers running. So what I've done is I've decided to switch everything over down to creosote. So we'll go down here. And as you can see, I've got conveyor systems in here. Uh, they're jammed right now uh, because I've been having issues with... Uh, well, you'll find out in a second here. I'll take that out. And look, cold, cold dust is getting in there. And that's this one side. And this other side here, I think it's the same issue. Yes, it is. I don't know how... Oh, no, that's actually still going. That's good. Yeah, it was just because of a backlog. You can actually see it right here somehow it's, it's getting back into the system and the fur furnaces will only burn at one or in will only take it as fuel if there's a full unit so that's why it gets jammed at point nine uh, so I want to basically rework this I have gone and harvested the clay because I want to go ahead and oh, wait hold on so I wanted to make four more coke ovens because I want to have everything running off the coal coke it's actually a really good fuel it's easy to make because of this uh, I was going to extend the range of the lasers two more times, or up to the maximum to get the full two out. Uh, in case you're wondering about this, let's get that jetpack off. Uh, in case you're wondering about this crate here, I put a robot, a filtering robot here to take out the coal dust if it goes into uh, the junction. The problem is the junction doesn't have an inventory by the looks of it, so it's not actually working. It's getting stuck at the belt, I think. So that's why I gotta get this all reworked because basically everything r running off of this and so on and so forth uh, I've also been doing a lot of work off camera making a lot of steel uh, not these ones here but over here as you can see we got 240 plates and we have 176 uh, parts now they've taken gotten away from the, the rods and gone to parts now uh, I've looked at the recipes there is no rods anymore uh, that's what happens when you run a steel plate through the cutting machine now now, what I want to do is I actually want to start upgrading some of these machines because I realize that the output is so much faster and uses less power. Like just a, going from a stone furnace to a steel furnace gets you like goes from zero to like 0.5 efficiency. Uh, it's not showing now because it's got no fuel for some reason. So yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of reworking. Uh, I've also been looking at block pallets, and as you can see, I got some blocks made here. Uh, put some back because I was hoping to find a whole bunch of clay but I never found it uh, speaking of clay I gotta get that going we gotta get those bricks made for oh, no that's not the right button uh, for coke ovens because I want to make four more of these which give me a total of 12 and then as far as the creosote goes I just added three tanks and these are all full uh, I can use them to I'm probably going to end up using all the creosote coming out of here to power one or two fluid furnaces just to get a little bit of extra pop production going. And then at the same time, like I said, I want to upgrade these machines. Maybe not so much the copper line, but the steel line as well, and sort of streamline it a bit. And the reason why I'm looking at blocks right now is because I, I'm thinking about going up to a, another level. Now, oh, I did actually have those on me. So these are what we have at our current level. Uh, the stone bricks we can worry about later. There's concrete we can make, but we have to make more machines for that. I want to see if, one, if the glass block actually renders, if it, or if it's just a white block. So we have clay, we have terracotta, we have terracotta tiles, which you get three of these out of one of those, so that's a pretty good recipe. We have organic block, I want to see what that's like. There's stone, which is 
You gotta take stone plates, run them through a macerator, and then take the stone dust that you get out of there and run it through a metal press to get stone block. And there's also concrete and reinforced concrete. But we'll get into that later. Let's go over to this side here. I have expanded a little bit. Let's see what we got here. So let's go on this side here so we can actually see. That's the glass block. I actually like that. It's kind of black though. I want to ch see if it actually... There's the, cl there's the clay. Which isn't bad. Let's check this glass out. That's kind of weird. It's got no reflection. It's not transparent. Maybe it's my sitting. Hang on. No, I guess just how it is. Oh, that's a glass block. Anyway. Then we also have terracotta. We got the terracotta tile, which... I don't mind. Let's see what the organics looks like. Okay, so we got grass blocks. There's a stone block. I actually like that. Doesn't look like the uh, the, the hot bar icon. Let's see what else we got here. I uh, should check to see if I'm recording because I have a feeling I'm not. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, I am. All right. And we, of course, we have uh, the dark stone, which is nice dark purple. Sid, if you're watching this one, you're going to love that. And uh, we also have what is that stone tile, which isn't bad if you want to go all fancy. And I want to see if we can actually place the glass plane. No, we can't. Then we can get to other things, too. Like if we get a bit of steel age here, we can make... Uh, well, of course, we can use silver, coke block cast iron block but those are expensive uh, of course you can't actually build with all those because they're under decoration I actually want to see what the casing looks like because apparently it's a decoration which means we can place it it's also a little scaffolding too just like the amount of stuff you can build oh hello oh I like that that's expensive though three steel plates I like it though. You know, you don't really actually see that. But maybe a copper case, you know, I have to see this. Uh, for the time being, we're going to go with the terracotta tiles because I've got so much of it. That's not bad. Does that actually make a different sound when you walk on it? It's got that little ting. Let's do a sound test. Yeah, grass is still like walking on cement. Okay. Then there's the concrete, but uh, to get to the concrete, which is here, uh, we need cement dust and crushed brick, which is clay run through, you make unrefined bricks run them through a stone dryer, uh, which I probably should do. I thought I made those already. I have missed something here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of lost right now. Uh, I thought I had those bricks somewhere. Did I lose them? Did I put them in the dryer? That's not the dryer. Oh, oh, that's not them. Uh, give me a moment here. Okay, I see them. Uh, that is a, an issue with the game. If uh, your inventory is full and you craft something, you'll lose it. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get the stone dryer here, or the steel dryer. Now, I noticed that the steel dryer is actually a lot better than the stone ones, which those are actually steel. Uh, not only is it faster, but it's like two, a little over two times faster. So that works. So that is going on. Uh, make sure this thing is still running. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I was going to extend the range on these two, which means the wire will have to move up, I guess. And yeah, and I can put two more blocks here because I have eight. Yeah, I can put two more plants here. They'll make eight. The wire will have to actually go behind because this will actually take out any block that's there. And go from there. Okay, I'm going to make a morning here, and 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear up my inventory and I'll bring you back when I get the coke ovens made. Okay, the bricks are almost ready. Uh, there is something I did want to point out too. And uh, I'll show you. I don't have it set up here, but I'll show you in the other one. Uh, I'm going to put something in here. What is this? This is iron. No, this is copper. Yeah. Copper. And I know they changed it because uh, this shelf here used to be copper rods. Now it's copper copper parts. I was going to put do some inventory management here. I thought I had copper on me. No, I don't. Iron. Uh, but one of the things I found out is these arms can take out of any inventory. If you have a box, even though all input, even here, I'm pretty sure the robot would actually take the item from here. But yeah, it can pull from any inventory, even the shelves. The shelves will work. I have tested it. So uh, that's something that's going to come in handy for when I want to keep a buffer and whatnot. So... Okay, let's go grab those coke ovens, uh, or the bricks, grab the, those, I did not want that. What can I stick in here for now? Glass, uh, random junk. Definitely gonna have to get more organized. Yeah, I was looking at the the grass blocks there, because it gets so much this organics when I'm getting clay and stuff like that. But let us go over here, and I should have enough room and enough inventory space. And we're just going to take everything out. I'm take it all out, take it all down. And I have an obscene amount of inventory filled up already. Oh my god. Okay, so pipes go. And I also found out too when you go to a different tier of pipes that they don't connect. So that could be an issue down the road. Do I not have inventory space for this? Okay, I got room for those. Uh, let's just go dump some stuff in here. Plates. Actually, I'm going to need those pipes. Grab those back. Well, let me take everything out and I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're going to have everything out. So what I'm going to do, just to make things easier for building, is I'm going to get my pipes ready. And I'll go ahead and take a stack of those. Uh, I don't think I need steel pipes because these aren't like really a high volume. Uh, so where are those my coke ovens? There they are. Yes, I should have 12. So I'm going to be using... Why are you not placing? Oh, okay, it is one block. Okay, never mind. So I'm going to be having them all facing forward. So then I have the creosote output on the back. So one there. One there. That's going to be two, two rows of four. Or six. Sorry, that's four. Oh, I'm going to need more... Need more bricks here. I was about to initiate hover mode and I realized I don't have hover mode. That's good thing I got bricks on me. Probably should be changing the color on this, but I think I'll keep this this color for now. Or this style of brick. Okay, and the rest of this done. I need more bricks. But you get the idea. So I'm gonna get all this done. I'm gonna the right way. Nope. Oh. Okay. Did I lose one? No, I didn't. Okay. Because I heard the placement sound, but I didn't see anything. Yeah. So I'm going to get this done, and I'll be right back. Well, I guess I might as well show you how I'm putting the second tier up. Uh, the reason why I put the pipe on there first is I can actually snap right to it. Now, it won't actually connect to the front because the output's on the back. So if I go and place another pipe there, go back to the coke oven, and just got to hit that node right, turn it the right way, it helps. Because uh, when you're placing it, you're using the very front block. So that's how I do things. I make things so much easier. Like so. Except that one was on top. And the ones on the bottom are out of alignment. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, I'll, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I got that done. Now, I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I should upgrade to steel gen steel conveyors. Like, I know it's not going to be going too fast, but maybe. Uh, how many conveyor junctions do I have on me? 20. 
see if this is going to be enough. Now, the reason why I have it in line like this is I got the outputs all, or the, yeah, the outputs all on one side for the cold coke, and I got the inputs on the other side, so I don't have to worry about anything getting crossed. So, of course, we're going to go and take take out the floor. Not worried about the bricks. I've got so many of these things made, and I can get stone for days. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, junction there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And then same across the top. Okay, and then of course we're going to be configuring them so it's... Let's see, green is there, so it's pulling in on the green. And it's going to be outputting on the blue. No, it's going to be outputting up on the white. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> you can dismantle stuff while you're in inventory. Okay, so that's going to be outputting. Uh, that's going to be going down as well. Yep, just like so. Uh, so I'm going to get that done, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side where i got to do the inputs. Just like so. And yeah, because it's automatically configured on the thing, it automatically sets that to that. So then make this easier, then I'll just do this, do blue to out. And of course, take out the floor. So let me get this all set up and we'll see how she runs. Okay, so there we go. We've got 12 coke ovens all set up. They are all auto feeding in and all auto feeding out. Uh, I do have to get this set up, but we have no power right now, and that's because of the previous jams. So this is what I've been having to do because. Yeah, there's coke dust, but it won't actually fire it unless it's got one in there. This is what happens. I take that out. And there we go. We have coal dust. So now I think if I let this f feed in, that one should actually start pulling in now. And that's why I had that robotic arm here and here trying to pull it out. But it's not doing it because it's not counting as an inventory. So pull that out and I should start getting some coke dust in there eventually okay that one's still going hey I wonder why it's so quiet I also gotta get the robot set up to pull the the ash out of here too all right we should be good okay so that is that uh, these here this here just like that one there I can't actually dismantle a bit of a pain Oh well. Uh, so yeah, that is going. That should be fueling in. Uh, I do have to worry about the creosote output though, because that's going to fill up pretty quick. So what I've been thinking about doing for this, this is why I've got the the, the tank here, is to, just to be able to drain the system if I can, if I need to. And what I want to do, because I do want to use this eventually, I have plenty of containers could always use more. How much steel do I have on me? I could use more, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wall of these. Uh, put it right here. Put it right here. I want to try to keep it in line with uh, the drain because I'm actually going to use a valve. And what I'm going to do is when these fill up, I'll just start draining everything. Hopefully it'll drain all of them or at least keep the creosote ovens running. Yeah, I'll just put them all down. I'm going to need to make some more pipe, too. Oh, I got plenty of pipe. Never mind. Yeah, I guess this even works. I was going to do a wall, but... We'll just do a bank of them like this. And... Apparently they're empty because I picked them up. Nice. Okay. Now we just got to connect the pipes. Yada, yada, yada. Now I realize I probably... Didn't really need to go the way I did. Come on. Get on there. Okay, so let me get this all done. Okay, I'm just about done. I actually have to get this up, uh, fixed up now because, uh, yeah, that can't keep up now. Uh, they're not always running. But I did find out how to get rid of these things. Uh, this one is a bit of a puzzle because there's two of them right next to each other. But what you gotta do, just gotta place a junction block down. One there. We'll place one on top if I can. Oh, that's the wrong spot. There. And this is just in case you ever make it by mistake. It is actually in here. It's uh, 
what was it? It was a conveyor junction. You make the junction, the actual junction, but you can make the individual sections. And I can't find it right now. Maybe they took them out of the game. But in order to get rid of, rid of these, you just get rid of it. And there we go. So that actually helps clean things up a little bit. Oh, there it is. And we can do the same there. We take this one out before it starts pulling stuff out that I don't want. And just like so. But anyways, uh, what I was going to do was I was filling this up while I was waiting for the rest of the bamboo plants to craft. And also, you know, filling up a hole so I don't have to pull up my jetpack every time to get myself out. And then, uh, yeah, I can, I might as well deal with this one now while we're, while I'm here. Do that. Oh, all over the place. Come on, get on top there. Let's go through it this way. It's being difficult. That's fine. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, yeah, so bamboo plants. So what I have to do is I actually have to move the wire back. Uh, I want to say one. I need more wire too. I should be able to make a whole bunch. Where is the wire? Coils. And coils I need. Ingots. Made straight out of ingots. Okay. Well, let me, uh, you get an idea of what I'm doing, so I'm just basically going to take out two blocks here. I'll probably have to move this water collector onto the other side or right on top here, which might be an idea. And then move it back, but I'll bring you back when I got it all set up. Alright, well, it's it's kind of working. I've got it sort of set up where more or less I have to jumpstart the system. It kind of went dry and things were back, and I thought I was still getting some coal dust in the conveyors that are underneath. Uh, so what I've done with the creosote tanks, and are they actually outputting? I don't know if these are actually filling up or not. Probably not. Uh, how do I tell if... Okay, that's closed, that's open, so I've been dumping everything. So I'm going to close that for now, close that for now. Obviously you can tell it's closed or open, right? And then these... Sh there we go. Now I'm starting to fill up the creosote. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a bank here, and just keep a supply on it for when I want to use it. Uh, I will probably get, try to get some sort of fluid generation going. Or uh, fluid power generation. These haven't filled up yet. Oh, they're starting to. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I've been trying to get this whole system kickstarted. I went, picked up a whole bunch of coal dust, which I happen to have on hand. Uh, and so far, the harvesters have been actually working pretty good. Uh, they haven't been taking out the cables that are neatly behind them. So we are doing good. Now, now I was having an issue where there wasn't enough actual coal dust coming out of the system or coke dust coming out of the system to keep everything running. And these were actually run out of fuel because getting coal dust in there. And unfortunately, these are our main fuel source right now. Uh, so far, this is working. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for everything to get caught up. So let's make sure that everything gets something in. Just got to give it a second here. See where this one goes. It should come into this side here. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. We just got to get more coke dust being produced. And now that I got all 60, all 12 running, it should be good. I uh, might even see how much of this we actually get. So that's 0.4 times 7, uh, 14. So that's, that's quite a bit. We might have to get a second boiler set up. Let me fill up this hole before I fall into it. Oh, there's free conveyors down there. Anyway, so the next thing I want to do is I want to start getting things sort of moved around a little bit. Now all of this machinery isn't actually being used. I do have to deal with my inventory. The sun's going down again. Uh, just give me one second here. Okay, I'm back. I've had to rework a little bit, a few things. Uh, one thing I did was starting to realize is that uh, the dryers weren't running at full capacity. They weren't always running. And why are you not... Oh. What I've done basically is uh, I've got every multi-tool going to its own, own dryer. So hopefully everything's going to work out. But for some reason it's not going in. What did I do wrong here? 
Okay, you're outputting. Why are you not going in? Yeah, uh, I, it was starting to seem like the, the junctions themselves were, were, were having trouble keeping up. Oh yeah, that's why it's not going in. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's a screwdriver. Now, a screwdriver actually allows you to rotate things. But you actually have to be right on it. Oh, you gotta hit the arrow. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, that's not the right way. Hang on, we'll get there eventually. Okay, let me go down. Uh oh, oh. What have I done? Alright, well, anyways, the screwdriver helps us rotate tools. But that's fine. But, anyways, let me. I don't know where I was taking that stone from. Uh, yeah, have I mentioned this game is early access? I'll keep reminding myself in case you haven't heard. I don't need that. And I just picked it up again. Uh, where is that furnace? Oh, there it is. Steel furnace. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, this is... Okay. Uh, that is the input, right? Yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get some organization done here. Uh, I'll get that screwdriver out of here because it's actually apparently useless. And I want the steel dryer. Okay, now it helps if I actually have the right block selected. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. So now that is going in. Now let's. Just because, let's try the screwdriver again. Uh, okay. Okay, I got you. You click and you drag the direction you want. So if I want to go that way again, I can. If I go back on it, I can go back the other way. That makes sense. Cool little toy that could be uh, very dangerous in the wrong hands, especially mine. So I might have to make a few more conveyors, but what I'm doing, and I've done this on the other side too, I'm just bringing you back for this part here, is I've got the outputs coming out of these furnaces going directly into here. And they're not getting fuel, why? Oh yeah, because you have absolutely nothing in the system. Uh, oh, hang on. Did I not hook those up? Or are we just completely out of creosote, uh, cocoa, coke dust already? I think we're out of coke dust. Which means we're going to have to jump start the system. Uh, basically, I had these things disconnected for a while, so uh, nothing's actually going through the coke ovens right now. Yeah, that's inputting on the white, I'll put it on the blue. And that's outputting on the green. And. Make sure it's coming through here. Uh, that's yellow. It's pushing out yellow, pulling in red and out green. Okay, so yeah. We're basically running dry, but I've done that on the same side here. So basically, I have a reason why I put that bridge there, and unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Oh. Okay. But yeah, anyways, like I said, I've got the same setup here, or I've got them going into a junction. So then when the coke dust com the coal dust comes out here, it goes on this conveyor, merges with this conveyor here, comes out into this one, and then just merges along, same here. Now I have to get this all jump started and going because these are full, they have nowhere to go, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything all primed and ready to go, but as you can see we're starting to have a bit of an issue, we're having a backlog. And that is because I really should be able to steal conveyors with these. Or what I should actually be doing is having the main junction coming off of here. Now the problem is I've already tried this already. You can, sorry, uh, you can't actually combine the steel junk, steel conveyors with the steel junctions, or copper junctions with steel junctions. Just like you can't go with pipes. But I'm actually thinking about this. We can. Okay. Because then I can put a junction here, and then if I have another junction let's say here we're just doing a test here and we have the output on pink and it works okay so that's what I'm going to do then uh, I'm going to
trying to think how I want to do this now. What I might do is convert this to a steel junction and that to a steel junction there. And then just have everything conveyor fed from probably that one. So let me take care of that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I did for the meantime. I, like I said, I got everything funneling onto the steel con steel junctions, which are still backing up a little bit, which might be a little concern. But anyway, so I got it funneling down here, going to these two, and then down to here, which goes down to these three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this go for now because I think it should be okay. It's getting a bit of a backlog, but it's just a matter of these things filling up. And that's what I'm ma mainly concerned about is you know making sure that they're all producing. And they are. And, of course, we have a creosote problem, which, of course, we're going to take the shortcut here. I came prepared for. Do that. And then we'll do that. Now, they should be venting. So I should not have a backup on the creosote issue. That one is still go still backed up, though. Oh, is it because... Yes, of course. Nobody knows how to actually have a pipe on me. So we are going to do this. Uh, so far everything's good. So let me get this hooked up and then... Uh, actually, it's just over here. It's not too, not too far away. And then we will go and start moving everything around. I need more pipes. I need two pipes. And I have one ingot. So I'll be right back. Okay, so, so far everything seems to be running okay. It looks like all the blast furnaces, blast furnaces or coke ovens, are running. I forgot to have my jetpack on, which is good. This one hasn't really gotten too much, but it's slowly trickling in. But that is good, so at least that's going. Uh, haven't had any backlogs, haven't had any power issues yet, but we're still early game. But anyways, so the next thing we want to do is, because I realize we're starting to run low on time here, is what we're going to do is we're going to just reorganize everything, make it a little more streamlined here. So we're going to start with the copper line here. Uh, I should have nothing in this system at all. So I'm going to go ahead and take out all the conveyors. Uh, same time too, we're not actually going to be using these blast furnaces anymore. Uh, we're going to be using the alloy smelter and the arc furnace, and we're going to have to try to get that automated a little better. Uh, that we need coke dust and iron ingots uh, in the alloy smelter which will give us cast iron ingots which goes into the arc furnace and becomes steel basically so yeah uh, let me clean up here and I'll be right back okay so what I want to do here is I want to basically keep everything in line with these containers that I've already got set up so now on here we're gonna need we're gonna need uh, oh, we can use conveyors. I'm just gonna figure out everything on my hot bar here. Yeah, I was using copper. I was thinking about upgrading everything up to steel, but I don't think we really need the steel logistics here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, grab our conveyor splitter. No, we're not. And I'm gonna put another conveyor there. Get that basalt out of there. I'll grab a cutting machine. I'm just gonna go here. Like so, and then another conveyor. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong way. Okay, and then two more conveyors, then the splitter. Like so. And then from here, I want. I wonder if we should get another ha uh, conveyor or just go straight to the hammer. Let's go one more conveyor just because. If I could build place the right way. Yeah. One of those days. Okay, so now we've got to put a hammer here. It's, uh. Won't be using junctions. Now I'm wondering, I wonder if I should make. So I got the steel hammer here. You know what, let's do that. Let's upgrade our equipment. I got all the iron, I don't need the iron right now. Uh, let me make uh, two sets of steel equipment, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything ready. So what I wanna do is, basically we're starting from the back and working our way forward. 
So this is, this is the hammer that's going to be coming out of the furnace. So let's go ahead and put a big hole there. And stick the furnace here. Now I'm going to be going with the stone, the steel furnace, but I'm still going to have a stone smelter because the steel version of the smelter is the arc furnace. And uh, yeah, we don't want to be using power. We don't need to. Uh, what am I looking for here? I am looking for this thing over here. That one, and this one. Okay, and the reason why I'm going with the steel furnace, I've actually looked at the recipes, looked at the recipes, or actually looked at the output. Uh, you actually get more heat per fuel than if you did, uh, yeah, do it that way, uh, than you would with the stone furnace. I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place today. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm actually spacing them out because I want to have the robotic arms going through. Now, I have to check the recipes again. So, if you take the ore, and this is with all the ores, you run it through a macerator first, it gets you, nope, run it through the hammer first, gets you the gravel. Then the gravel, you run through a wash plant, and it gets you ore gravel. The ore gravel runs through the macerator again, and gets you dust. So it's two macerators. Okay, so that's what we do then. We're going to put a macerator here. Uh, let me think here. Where's the output? Output's on this side. Okay, macerator. And then the ore washer. Again, trying to watch where my output is. Okay, output's there. And then another macerator. Oh. No, it was a hammer that went through, wasn't it? Uh, hang on. Oh, geez, a lot of recipes. Uh, let's see here. No, I think it went to the macerator afterwards. Mm -hmm. Or the... Yeah, hammer first, or, yeah, hammer first in the macerator, so then this is going to be hammer then. And that's going to be steam powered. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll figure this out. Uh, that was mechanical, so I might as well have this on the other side. And I'm actually going to use a screwdriver if I have it on, my, on me somewhere. Nope, I do not. So we're just going to have to do it this way. Alright, uh, macerator. We go like that. And that way I can have my steam engines both on this side here. And I did make steel steam engines. Just because. I have absolutely no idea what that pipe is for. I think it's steam. <laughs> uh, like so. Apparently it is steam. Okay, so that's running, and then I gotta get some pipe down here. Oh, we got steam there, and that, so maybe what I'll do is we'll do it this way. Come across the top, like so, and then we'll come right into the side of the hammer. Maybe even like this, just keep everything low profile. And then now that I think about it, I gotta rotate this thing. Okay, I'm going to go back like this. Oh, I can't, because the output's there. Oh, and the output's on the other side, too. What do you know? Okay, well, I'm going to have to change this. Hang on. Okay, so everything is all hooked up to the line. I got the hammer down the back here. Uh, one thing I did forget is we do have to worry about water input and output. I do need to have water in, which do have water collectors, that, so that's not an issue. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's do that for now. I don't need stone on my on my hot bar. So, water collector. Just output something like so. Now, this is actually the the creos the wastewater dump. Uh, for the time being, I will dump it, but you apparently can run it through. I think you just run it through a stone dryer or. St even a steel dryer and it gets you what does it get you? It gets you clay. Yes. So this looks like it's the waistline. Yes it is. 
So that's that pipe there. Let's get back to up top here as soon as I stop walking off cliffs. So that's the waistline, or is this the waistline? I can't remember. Let's go down. Okay, that is the waistline. So now what I have to do is connect this one like so. I will have to make some more pipes, apparently. Uh, so let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's the place. Now we get a little bit of robotic help here. Uh, yeah, we've got a smelter in place. Uh, I am realizing, or I did realize that this is actually the... W was the iron production, but it's going to be the, the copper now. Just because I got the smelter in place, uh, we're gonna have to do something different for the steel to make that automated. That's just because, uh, yeah, because we're gonna be using the arc furnace for it. So I'm gonna have to make a second arc furnace for that as well. So let me do it like that and like that, and then I need a box. Oh, I have one. Good. Don't have a spot on my hot bar though. Do that, and now I can go ahead and move all this out of the way. Actually, we gotta get the steam going. Uh, I think this was steam. Yeah, that's the steam. So now what I'm going to do, maybe... Maybe I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. That is... Should be all up and running. Looks like it. Let's give it a test. I also found out too, if you hold control and just left click, it takes everything that you can carry. Really handy. So now, I'll feed it to the hammer. Those steel arms are fast. Holy jeez. See, and then it automatically puts it in here. This makes it a certain speed, and then this arm here is going to take it out, put it in the macerator. And then when that's done, this time I'm just going to put it in the smelter, which doesn't actually have... Oh, it does have a furnace. Nobody knows there's coal down here. I might need that soon. Uh, I will have to keep this one fueled manually for the time being. Wow, got a high jump on that one. I'm actually, I was actually wondering about getting uh, uh, the steel jet pack, but I don't know if that'd be a smart thing now. Hmm. I think for the time being, because I don't have any stairs on me, we'll just place that there so I can't drop down. Now, i got to give you fuel. I don't really have much for fuel. These things are trucking along nicely, sort of. It's working, that's all I'll say. I just got to steal that for a moment. Nice, lots of movement. Except for this last guy, he's not doing anything. Because he needs fuel. Eh, uh, that's not fuel. There we go. So now that's going. So, let's go ahead and bring back the day. Now take a minute. And it's going to be the same thing. I had to clear the rack, so... Uh, this, this is going to be copper parts. This is going to be copper plates. So now to get this out of the way, so we're going to get the, the other setup going. And this is going to be for the iron. And the iron isn't going to be going through... Is it going through the hammer? No, it's not. It's not going through the hammer. It's going through another macerator. I do believe. Let's see. And that gets me... I have to check this. Because if we go through... Uh, what do we go through after that? We go through the furnace. I want to see if there's a way to wash it. Just a separator. Which is aluminum tier, we're not even there yet. Now I wanted to see if there's a way to actually make the iron dust. Because the iron dust combined with coke dust gets us our cast iron which goes into the, the furnace. But I wanted to see if there was actually made a way to make this without having to actually grind down iron ingots. And at this tier it does not look like it. Well, we could get the separator. 
Get a little bit of sulfur with it. But we lose on that. Might be easier to just go straight into another macerator. So then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another macerator. As soon as I get some steel on me. That's iron. Uh, steel. Where did I put the steel? Oh, I gotta have everything all over the place around here. Alright, and another macerator. Okay, so now I have to make sure that I'm at least six blocks away here. Just so nothing crosses. Uh, I'm gonna start by... Can I make a shelf? Missing planks. Yeah, we're gonna be finished up here pretty quick. I realize it's running a little long here. Alright, we'll get that in there. I basically want to have everything in the same line. So the macerator is going to go where the hammer is. Or better yet, let's start where the, wa the washer is. Because that I know that I need one extra block. Oh, there's some stairs. I'm going to grab those while I'm at it. Fill that hole in. Uh, we're gonna have to take this out. We'll have to find out which line this is too. It's not even a jetpack, it's just a super jump. Okay, let's see. Washer is there. Okay, so I was gonna say I can't be out of bricks. So we take the washer. Uh it's gotta be on this side. So there it fits. One more of the pipes touch. And there. And that's just because we're going to have to have a waste output pipe here. And we can't have the waste output touching the steam engine. Or else the steam engine is going to take in wastewater. Or we're going to have steam going to the dump. Yada, 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 yada. Alright, so now we can get the rest, of the rest of everything in. So we're going into a macerator. Engine on that side. And then we go into a furnace. Which we'll just take out the floor right now. Put the furnace in. And then we have another pipe there. Okay, well let's take the pipe out. Grab some more bricks, fill in the hole so I don't have to keep switching to my jetpack. And let's try not to place things in the wrong spot either. So then from here, then we go to another macerator. That's not a macerator. Uh, like so. Now, where is that smelter? There it is. Okay. Uh, how many more arms did I have? Five. Pretty good. So there, 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 and and we need another hammer. Like so. Then of course we put a box here and that feeds in this. So this is just gonna process the iron, which gets in, eventually gets processed into um uh what should I call it? Steel, yeah, that's the word. Because there's actually absolutely no, absolutely no use for steel in this game except for making iron. Or uh, other way around. No use for making iron no use for iron in this game except for making steel. Alright, so let me get everything piped up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got it all hooked up to the dump line. I just happen to have steam right here, so we'll just go and borrow this for now. Like so. And how are those coca and so looking? I see red, that's all that matters. Good way to tell if your fuel source is working is just by looking at the glow. They're not always running, but they're running, the boilers are smoking, that's all that matters. Alright, so that is running this line here, so that's gonna end up getting us from the, the ingot down to the dust and then I think well, I made a shelf anyway so we're just going to use a shelf like so now I'll just put everything in there now to test this one out do have another wooden box it's good and we're going to go ahead and place this one here and grab another robotic arm like so now let's actually run the dust the iron uh, let's see about iron I can actually find. Hmm. Thought I had a whole bunch. Oh, it's over there. 
There it is. We'll go run over here. Well, technically we don't run. And off we go. Extreme doubling on the go. You know this way here sealed out still and how is this going? Really? Oh, I got the hammer backwards. Ha ha ha. I thought I had something wrong. So that means I gotta get the pipe over on the other side again. Okay, that's all steam. That's fine. Okay. That's better. Oh, maybe not missing a conveyor. Who didn't put that there? I'm gonna blame me. Oh yeah, and I need an engine on this side too, don't I? Yes, that is kinetic as well. All right, no problem. Take care of that. Uh, let's see. See how that's doing. Besides the fact that it needs fuel. Let's actually go deal with that right now. Do I have any burnables on me? No, I don't. I never do. Actually, I have some coal here. I will have... I, I'm thinking about getting these furnaces here set up with uh, the creosote. So we'll use the food furnaces on them. I need a jump boost besides the jetpack. The jetpack's a little... A little overpowered. Okay. So now we'll actually just watch this do its thing. As soon as it cooks here. Okay, and there we go. This one is... Not producing yet. What's going on here? Oh, that's what's going on. <laughs> Steam menu would help on this. So I'm not sure we make our our uh, our parts, component parts. There we go. Yeah, so they got rid of the rods and the, the bolts now, which are like basically the half rods. And there we go. We have our iron dust. And now from here, I can uh, use the iron dust coming out of a box that hopefully is going to have some buffer of coke dust and be able to feed that into an arc furnace and automatically pull that out as steel. But at least things are a little more organized here. You know, I could have had this a little bit closer. I don't think anything would have touched, but it's nice to be able to walk through here at least. And it's good to know about the the arms with the boxes actually being able to pull stuff out. That makes things so much easier. But I think we're going to call this one here. I realize it's been long. I've been working on this episode a couple hours now. So uh, I thank you all so much for watching. hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.